Hey, man, I thought they were going to be on Pawn Stars. Didn't they just release a roadmap? And now they're shutting down. This is from the official Discord channel. I checked it. It's real. Argos is freaking out now with all those heavy bags. Rudy Chan, he, I mean, he told you it was not investable, my guys. At $8,200 a kit, not investable. No one should have been looking at this as an investment. I wonder if Rudy got the heads up from uh, that Michael Waddle guy who seems to love Rudy Chan so very much. It is with a heavy heart that I must announce that effective immediately... Meta Zoo Games will be closing and shutting down all operations. I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone in the community for the incredible four year run that we had. Meta Zoo Games was started during the pandemic and provided a home and created a culture that revitalized the TCT industry. No, it did not. Launching a new wave of card games, all of them that failed, minus Flesh and Blood, good on them. That now numbers in the hundreds. Yes, a hundreds of shitty games that no one plays. I'm proud to have been part of that, and you should be too. You all got mother effing hosed. Your cars are <laughs> carpets, man. Imagine a company that everyone's like, you know, Argo's like, man, we're going to the moon. We go to the moon, baby. Pawn stars. Wait, we next Pokemon. How many times did you hear that? Steve Aoki. 6 9 He got alpha investments. He got, what, what, what did he end up with? Nine or ten different promos of himself in a dead card game? Unfortunately, that era has passed. And faced with logistical and product gridlocks, what does that even mean? MetaZoo games can no longer continue to exist in the current economics and collectible market. It is my hope that MetaZoo can continue on as an IP at some point in the future under new ownership, and I look forward to that day. Special thanks to all the MetaZoo artists who have been pushed out, and staff, both pre past and present, that made these past four years possible. So the ones that are in the past, they recently left. The ones in the present, start sending your resume to other people there ain't no company for you to work at no more. The memories we created of a pump and dump by Alpha Investment will be something we cherish the rest of our lives. More information will follow and be communicated via our Discord channel when it's becoming available. Thanks for everything once again. Uh, Argos has a Argos has a town hall. I'm going to have a town hall the same time he does. Would that be too mean? Do you think that would be too mean? And I'm going to spit truth while he tells people to buy his shitty products. I'm going to spit the truth. Is that this was always a scam, guys. It was 100% always a scam. You don't pay $8,200 for a new product. That's not even like the first edition version. It's like the, the, the uh, jungle version. Who the F is paying this? Who's paying $500? Like, guys... This was a scam. It always was a scam. Let, let me let me explain to you how I know this is a scam. Think. They had that like dark tower thing. They were supposed to pay the players. And part of their promise, right, was they were going to pay their players before 2023. I still don't think those dudes got paid. Man, it's, we're in 2024. Almost, you know, in, in the first month, January is gone. And those ain't people ain't still got paid. And it's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. I think it's like $20,000 cast and $30,000 product. Like, it's not a lot of money to pay them and never worry about, like, people complaining. Guys. Guys. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, if, if this gets 100 votes, we will do a live stream. Argos' live stream is, he's the most positive dude on MetaZoo. I'm going to rip and shred every little bone. I'm going to crunch every... Because all the things I have said is real. You can watch my MetaZoo videos from years ago. This was a pump and dump. And now they shut down. But I, I bet you Argo's like, Hey, them shutting down is a good thing, guys. They're going to get new owners. No, man. no, They shut down and no one want to buy them. 
who would want to buy this, man? When I can just make my own version of it and not pay these dumbasses. And because the cryptids are not IP protectable IP. They're not. And the artists probably, you know, they're, they're, all, they're all out there. I, I can hire all of them. I could run a company identical to MetaZoo, call it MetaPoo, and pay these dudes shit, man. I'm an IP attorney for over 10 years. They don't got IP. Their IP, you know, is not Pikachu. It's not even power, man. I mean, this, what are we talking about here? So, 100 likes. We go live, same time as Argos. And we shoot down all his arguments about why this is positive for the game. Because you know what they're going to say. They're going to say, hey, this is good news, guys. It's good news that we shut down and we're going to zero. Now we can really enjoy the game. We can go to Claire's and, 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 and have a great time, get our ears pierced there. Totally not be reported to the police, right? MetaZoo, I told you, was shut down. And it shut down. All those MetaZoo lovers, you got what you deserved. At the end of the day, I warn you, I warn you, I warn you. This thing was set up like a scam from the very get-go. You don't sell. If you really want a game to be successful, you don't have 9 to 10 promos of one dude. What if that dude leaves? What if that dude tells everyone, his patrons, that this game sucks and it's not investable? It was never investable. You put too much... You gave him too much power. He has a pro to the point where he's making his own promos now. He's drawing his own shitty art. He's a terrible artist and he's drawing his own promos now. Because that's something unique and cool. And no, no unique and cool. I mean, what the hell are we talking about here? What the hell are we talking about, MetaZoo? Like, MetaZoo, you suck. The way you treated your fans, the way you treated your audience, the way you treated everyone. Minus one dude, Alpha Investment. You blanked his blank. Every chance you got, you blanked his blank. Right? You sucked his blank. Every time you got. <laughs> your game failed because instead of looking out for the players and the collectors and making things affordable and making things not $8,200 for five kits, you sucked his blank. Now, now you don't got no game. Well, I hope you guys are multi-millionaires. I'm, I'm positive all these guys involved, Mike and whoever the dude dating the artist is, you know, whatever his name is, his involvement, Steve Ioki, they, I, they're all multi-millionaires. They will be fine. Now your collection is worthless. Good luck selling it now. 